All right, so how's it going, everybody? We got ourselves a TTM back a long time ago, <laughs> June 22nd, 2023, from Santa Ana, California. Hopefully, everyone's doing well. You been getting any cool cards lately? Let me know. I always like hearing about what everyone's getting. Been picking up any cool cards? You been getting any TTMs back? Always like hearing about that. What do you collect? I like hearing about that. Everyone's always collecting something really interesting. And I don't have my envelope opener. You been picking up any cards? Like... Oh, was this one of the ones? Okay, so this, it happens sometimes. We've shown it. I, this might be like the third time it's happened. De guess we don't actually need, I actually didn't notice that. Notice this, that I've had this for like months now. But the other day when I pulled them out, I was like, wait a minute, this card. So apparently it's not, yeah, they didn't even do the strip with it. So the strip's still on it. I know this is mad sus, but that's what happens sometimes. That have you ever got back a TTM like this? And is there still a card? I think I feel the index card. Okay, there is a card. I think one card, not my index card. Looks like a Bowman. That's this way. Is it signed though? Whoa. Juan Alonso. Cool. That's always crazy to me that. We're all the way from California, so like actually across the United States, California to Florida. Um, not sealed. See that? No. The card's in like literally perfect condition, I think. Well, thanks, Juan. That came out really cool. Kind of a tough card to sign anyway, but it came out nice. I tried to keep it on his legs. I like it when players try to uh, sign like a good spot kind of thing like that, so... That card actually looks really cool the more I look at it. That's awesome. Yeah, that card came out really nice. I'm sure most people would say, like, the blue ink with the Dodgers would match really well, but I kind of actually like the black ink on that. That's really cool. Thanks a lot, Juan. Let's see when we sent this out. Yeah, you always see, like, people, like I was saying, across the whole country <laughs> in a not-sealed white envelope. And literally, I think I was saying the card's perfect. Literally, the only thing, it's like this corner is kind of, it's not even like dinged. It's like, well, it kind of is, but it kind of is. Uh, kind of is. But that's like literally it. And kind of get up the glare. Like, you know, <laughs> people need to chill out with the plain white envelope things. And if that was in a top loader, well, who knows? But I don't know if maybe the top loader weight would have made it fall out of the envelope because it wasn't sealed type thing. But that cor that corner would have been fine, you know. <laughs> that's what uh, that's what I always find funny about people freaking out. All right, looks like we sent out May twenty seventh, twenty twenty three, to Juan on the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. So that was a minor league. Let me see. May twenty seventh. Then the postmark was June. Yeah, June twenty second. So, well, we probably got it back like. The 27th, June 27th or something like that. But I'm just opening them up now. Today would be February 14th, 2024. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So yeah, that would have been like a month return, realistically. But yeah, that came out really nice. Thanks a lot, Juan. Guessing he's going to be going to spring training. So good luck over there. I think like tomorrow or something, the pitchers and catchers are supposed to report or something like that. Because I was just talking to the ticket guy over at Roger Dean Stadium over here for our Marlins tickets. I think the Yankees and Phillies are supposed to come across florida to play a game here i'm sure they play up in port st Lucie and down in palm beach for the astros nationals and the mets up in port st Lucie. if you have the chance to ever go to spring training i highly recommend it honestly i would recommend spring training over regular season if you had a chance to go to a game it's so much more i find it way more fun like obviously the guys are working and stuff like that you know it's like their job to play baseball <laughs> But a lot of the guys seem a little more kind of, it's like more relaxed. Just everything's a lot more relaxed. And the stadiums are so much smaller than the regular season stadiums. Like even if you got a bad seat, you're still very, it's very close. I'm not sure how that is anymore. I was going to say, and you can go out to the practice fields and watch. Because I haven't done that in a couple of years. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's different. And I don't know anything. That's only a... I only know that for here in Jupiter for the Cardinals and Marlins spring training. I don't know what all the other stadiums are like, or even in Arizona, which I really want to go to the Arizona spring training. That'd be really fun. One year we'll do that. But yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed.